Hey, Hedgehog Maniacs, Battle Melon Heads, Sandy X17 here. As you can see, it says out last week. Now, if you saw the last video, she turned into the Lemon Demon. But I'm wondering what's going to happen. I'm a little scared right now. I hope things turn out good. Let's go. Hello? Me Lemon? Hey, Me Lemon! This are you there? It's the final week between you and I. This will be our last final conversation together. The last time you and I can properly speak to each other. Lemon Queen to Melonhead. What a beautiful yet somewhat annoying experience all of this was. Are you saying Bad Melon is? Your Melon Queen has officially won. The Melon Heads did it. They had successfully sent enough melon power to their Melon Queen. She has enough strength to continue living. She is not free right now, mind you. I do have one more thing I need to take care of with her. But yes, the Melon Heads have won once again. Congratulations. You can pat yourself on the shoulder now. What's going through your head right now, Melon Head? I'm both shocked and also very confused. I kind of figured you'd be upset right now, since you lost again. <laughs> um... Take a good long look at me, Melon Head. Look at this form that we have created. Me, the Red One. After months and months of being haunted by her, she has finally agreed on giving me this new profound power. Year after year, I have been defeated by you melon heads, given nothing in return but a loss, and all sweet fruits would celebrate that. Well, this year, I think we all should be celebrating. In 2016, you took an eye from me. In 2017, you and Sky Rocket embarrassed me. But for this year, 2018, you may have taken my throne again, but I finally gained something different from this. Do you know what that could be? A red demon, right? A chance. A real powerful chance. Lemons needed this. I needed this. And I might not be as powerful as I want to right now, but mark my words, little Melonhead. Next October, you will all be sorry. Well then, I guess you would call that my final villain speech. <laughs> With all of that being said, I really have no more interest in you anymore. But before I head off, however, I do owe you something. What do you owe me? I wanted to ask you some interesting questions before I go. Alright, alright, fine. Go ahead then. Ask away. Sauron. Answer being honest. No more questions coming out of you. Just me now. Understand? I understand, Lemon Queen. I won't ask anything. Go ahead. Perfect. Now, first question. Do you really like Sauron's money? Yes, I do. You said you wanted to be free instead of Sauron. Is that you? Yeah, I did mean it. Do you think you can let him control you? Honestly? Yeah, she can. Do you like to join the Lemon Army? Once a melon head, always a melon head. The answer is no. I see. I see everything much, much more clear now. Based off of your responses, and the fact that you were willing to be honest with me, you have surprised me. And here I thought you were trying to remain a faithful, puny little melon head. What did I expect, though? I told you to answer my questions being honest, and this is what you gave me. Let me be perfectly clear with you in return. When I kidnapped your Melon Queen this year again, I had always wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the Melon Heads themselves. I was curious, what are the puny Melon Heads really like? What would they do to me, the evil Lemon Clone, if we just sat down and talked? The one who always attacked and tried to steal their Melon Power, what would they do to me? Would they try to be my friend? Or kill me? But now that you and I have talked for so long, I have now realized something both shocking 
and somewhat interesting. Sweet and sour. Maybe they can mix well together. However, let me be honest with you, dear Melonhead. I think you've been lying to me. I think all this time, you've been trying to get on my good side so I can give up and try to join your melon army. You, Melonhead, I think you're a liar. But you know what? I'm not lying. I respect that. Survive, attack, to be bitter by nature. Being nice gets you nowhere in life. Those are the words I told you two weeks ago. But today, you showed me that melons can attack too. So thank you. You're welcome. Sweet and sour. Maybe they can mix well together. I want you to remember those words carefully, Melonhead. Those are the words that I, Demon Lemon Citrus, respond back to the Melonheads in return. Thank you for opening her eyes, puny Melonhead. Until again. I am happy to find out that us Melonheads have won the battle. But, she said next October is going to be more sinister than before. So like I said, we need to be ready in case it happens. She said during week one, Van Lemon always comes up with better and smarter ideas to take over. Batman's YouTube channel. I hate to see what's gonna happen when she returns in 2019. Because you remember what she said before she started asking us the questions? In 2016, her eye was shot out. 2017, she was embarrassed by Skyrocket and the rest of the melon heads. This year, she seems satisfied with becoming a, a lemon demon citrus, as she liked to call it. But this is just more of a reason to be ready next October, like I said before. But I'm wondering how Paralymix is going to react to this. But let me know what you Hedgehog Maniacs and Fell Metal Heads think about this one as well. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time. Sandy X17 is signing out. Welcome back, Van Allen.